Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dynamics of Mechanical Systems. In this video, we will be talking about an exercise regarding modal decoupling. In the last video, we derived how we get to modal decoupling. Now we will just do a short summary and then look at the exercise where, we'll, where we will decouple equations of motion to have n uncoupled equations that we can solve one by one and then add to our original physical space solution. So we have a linear set of equations of motion. This is, we have the M matrix, we have a Q double dot and a K matrix and just a normal Q. For now, we have no additional forces acting on our system. We have axes that are our eigenmodes. We go, they go from X1, X2, X3 up to Xn, the degrees of freedom that we have. And we have our omegas that are our eigenmodes, uh, sorry, eigenfrequencies. So we also have omega 1, omega 2, omega 3, and so forth to omega n. So we have n degrees of freedom, and that means that if we have n positive and real eigenfrequencies. Recap to the M and K orthogonality if two eigenvectors or eigenmodes are if we pre and po post multiply different eigenmodes onto M and K, they will be zero. So this is M and K orthogonality. If we pre and post multiply the same eigenmode, we get the generalized mass, if we do that with the mass matrix, and a generalized stiffness. So we get the modal stiffness. And we know that with the Rayleigh quotient that our stiffness divided by our modal mass is our eigenfrequency. So we have XR, we have R modal stiffnesses and R modal masses, and of course we have R eigenfrequencies. So how do we get a uncoupled set of equations? Well, we have a step-by-step -step solution. So first we have to get the linear equations of motion. Then we have to get the eigenfrequencies and the eigenmodes. Then we have to get the modal mass and modal stiffness, and then we're already done. So let's look at the exercise that we also talked about in the last videos. So if you don't, uh, if you didn't see that video, check this video out so you'll, you will understand what's going on. So we have a linear set of equations of motion. We have the M matrix and the K matrix, and now we have to find the eigenfrequencies. So we have this formula to get the eigenfrequencies. We do not accept the trivial solution of x equals zero. So we need to find a matrix that has no inverse. So it's singular. So the determinant is zero. So this is basically a eigenvalue problem. So if we have this matrix, which is k minus omega m. So if we are looking for the eigenvalues now, we will get, or sorry, not the eigenvalues, but the values of omega, such that there is no inverse, we get, after a long computation, yada, 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 we get four solutions, but we only accept the positive ones. So we have two solutions. We have one is this one, and one is that one. So we have omega one is equal to one point uh, 1.072 and omega 2 is 2.085. Notice that we don't have the square here. So this is the pure uh, frequency. And by convention, we sort them from lowest to highest. Now we have to find the eigenmodes. So we have to solve this system. We Oh, this is wrong. This has to be a mass matrix. So we have to solve this system. We know this matrix, and we now have to find our eigenvector or our eigenmode. We know that we have two equations for one, one variable because this system is linearly dependent. We designed it in such a way because we said that the determinant is zero. So we have to manually set x11, this is this value, for example, to one. We can set it to any value because the value itself is not important. The important thing is the ratio. So we set, for now, we just choose one because it's easier to work with. So multiplying one, in this case, with this value, 
minus this value multiplied with x 1.2 this part will will get us 1.176 so this is our first eigen mode we can do that the same with the with the second eigen frequency so we will get a new matrix here and a new value for x12 so we have this one as our second eigen mode and we can also draw it because we have a very very simple system we know that the first part in the vector is our x so our distance and the second part is our angle so this first eigen mode will look something like this in gray we have the let me zoom in in gray we have the system that is completely at rest and the black system is the position at at which it will oscillate at so this will be multiplied with a same time function so it will get larger and smaller um, both degrees of freedom will get larger and smaller at the same time and will also reach zero at the same time for the second part we also have a extended spring but the pendulum is pointing backwards so now that we have the modal mass and modal stiffness we follow step four this was our recipe we follow step four where we get the modal mass by pre and post multiplying the eigen mode for uh, modal mass one and modal mass two and we do the same thing for the uh, modal stiffness so we have gamma one and gamma two and now we all we can just put this in a matrix so we have 16 from here and 1.5 from there this is our eta double dot so the time function then we have our 18 that comes from here and our 6.8 that comes from here and our again time functions eta and they are set to zero so now we have these time functions in the modal coordinates we also can scale them by the modal mass so basically just divide each line by this will be divided by 16 this will be divided or sorry not each line but each row divided by 16 or 1.5 and we will get this solution so this will be equivalent to the linearized equations of motion and after we solved or the solve our etas we will just insert them in this solution because we know the etas and we know our eigen modes we will get the solution in the physical space we will cover this in another exercise i hope this video gave you a better understanding about the eigen modes and eigen frequencies and how we can use them to get a set of uncoupled equations that we can then again solve one by one and transform back into the physical space to get our actual solution if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments down below otherwise thank you very much and i'll see you next time